and let's get in here. Guys, we have found the golden zone for this kit. Hello Minecraftians, this is Bad Boy Halo with the Saints Games, and welcome to another Minecraft Hardcore Games gameplay. Here we go, this game, I'm gonna speed through it as fast as I can, there's only 63 players in. I have this specialist kit, gives me an extra boost when it comes to getting experience and such. Every time I kill somebody, I get an experience bottle, and yeah, every time. Basically, essentially, I'll be able to kill a lot of people, get a lot of experience, and then go for the kill. But essentially, I'm going to run like the wind. Here we go. It's at the start. Got to go, go, go. I got to make sure that every decision I make from this point on is a smart decision that advances me towards victory. So, I need to... I'm going to cut to the right here. I'm going a little bit too far to the left for my taste. Got to get to that jungle. I think it was in this direction, though. I'm not 100% sure now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it was over here. But I'm going to stop for a second and I'm going to quickly get some wood, get some trees, got to go, got to go. Now, so you see that book in my inventory, essentially what that book does is that book gives me an enchantment table. So if I right click it, it will open up an enchantment table that I can then use to enchant my items, which is pretty cool because I have a portable enchantment table. Any mobs that I kill will spawn twice as many mo or twice as many uh give me twice as much experience as they normally would have given me so right now I'm gonna quickly get a sword just so I'm ready fail I'm already failing in terms of the speed portion of this but hopefully we can make up for that okay I click place it down here's a little thing I forgot to mention when I was doing my other videos someone reminded me of it or I mentioned it see right there do you see how I made the soup like that very quick very efficient very easy way to do it okay let's get some of this now I will say this kit, I'm probably at a disadvantage using it because when you think about it, I can't kill Fernandos. So any Fernandos I come across, I can't get that XP. So that's going to put me at a slight disadvantage you know, in terms of using this kit to its fullest potential. Because I really can't use the kit to its fullest potential. It can only kill mobs besides Fernandos. But I did in one game while I was playing with this find a mob spawner a zombie spawner and oh my goodness i must say i think i got up to 12 like um xp which 12 levels that was awesome look at that one skelly look how high that got me you can imagine how happy i was found that you know mob spawner and i was just raking in zombie awesomeness zombie xp okay i need to quickly go through I've got to find some cocoa beans, and I'm having some pretty bad luck considering there's not a single cocoa bean around here. Nearest person is that way. <gasps> Found one. There's a cocoa bean. All right, let's go over here, snag it, and then let's get some soup. I don't think there's any other soup in the whole game, so just having a little bit of soup will give me an edge on other players. Oh my goodness, do you see what I have in my inventory, what I got from that a zombie? Totally didn't... You know, think about that. But look, I can just go bam and look at that. Just break that. That's a huge advantage right there. Just getting that, or not from the zombie, but from that skeleton. That's cool. I like this, you know, quite a bit now, or how this game is going. I'm doing pretty good. Nice. I'll finish up with this stuff right over here. You know, just use it on one, because if I can use it on the ones that are almost done, it'll save me time than having to use it on you know one that's maybe not almost as done as the rest. Hey, okay, that should do it. I should have enough, you know, cocoa beans and stuff that oh yeah, look at that. I have cocoa beans literally for days. And we're good. All set up. Lock on the nearest person in this direction and let's go get him. Alright, here we go. Speed through this. Gotta catch him. Gotta try and kill him. He's moving a little bit to the left here. He's probably looking for cocoa beans himself. Guys, stay alert. He's pretty close at this point. See how much the compass moves like that? When it moves a lot, it means that you're getting closer. And there he is. See? Right on target. Alright, let's go for the attack. Surprise attack. Come on. Get some quick hits. And down. Good fight, sir. Lock on the next guy. I'm going to quickly go for him. Come on. I will... Oh snap, we'll have to deal with some other players. Oh, it's this guy from earlier. Dang it. Hi, sir. Good fight. That dude, I met him in another game early on, so good fight, uh, sir. I find it just kind of funny that we met in that other game, and then I see you right here. And yeah, that kind of threw me off quite a bit, actually. You surprised me. I'm like, hey, it's that guy. 
but I can't team with him, so I've got to move on. And now, if I can get one more kill, that's what I'm going to go for. Just one more kill, get higher XP, then I'm going to go and look for an iron sword. And if I can snag an iron sword, maybe I'll come back here. 215. But I want to try and get an iron sword and then enchant it with the levels that I'm getting from players. Maybe get a little bit of armor, enchant that too. We'll see how it goes. Definitely get a nice sharpness enchantment at some point. It's on my to-do list. But this dude right over here, he's the closest guy I got. And he's actually, let's see how close is he. He's probably a hundred blocks away. Ooh, that was close. Almost. Oh my goodness. Not good. Okay. Yeah, he is. Oh, wait. Maybe not. I know I'm wasting my soup like that. Using it on um, non-essential stuff. I should definitely keep one of those picks. Come on. There we go. Hey, okay, near sky. This direction. Got a little bit of a tower up here. Where is he? Is he back this way? Kind of weird. Okay, notice up there. Yeah, he's back here. Darn it. Oh, wait. Is he in that ravine? If he is, I could get down to him. No, he is right above me. Oh, he's up there. Is he down there? Huh. Oh, there's a dude. I can't get to him. So what do I do at this point? Do I go down into the ravine? Would that be a smart decision? Hmm. Might as well. Let's go for it. Wish me luck, cannonball. And not dead. Thank you. Not being deadness. Not dead yet. Now, I always hate being at the bottom of ravines because I always feel like I'm going to get killed by, like, everybody at any point. I never know. You ever get that feeling, too, where you're just, like, you're just waiting for someone to kill you? Like, at the bottom of a ravine, I hate that. Um, I should probably mention, I this is a, the game I'm playing in right now is the new version after one of the recent summer updates that was released. I don't know if you've seen... Oh, and I forgot. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. I have no more wood. Look at that. Hmm. This is a very bad situation. Okay, wait. Do I, you know what? I don't need any more wood. I have that... St oh, dang it. I don't have that stick anymore. Oh, snap. What was that? Oh, uh, Archer. Seriously? Dang it. Bloody Archer has such a high power at this point in the game. Come on. Come on down, buddy. Come on. What you gonna do? You just gonna hang out up there? Can't get me while I'm right here. That's for sure. I'm gonna just wait. He has to come down at some point. Oh, I hear a spider. I am fine with that. I'll wait for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no. We're in the water. Come on. Switch to row. Switch to row. Oh, seriously? They seriously do that. Oh, fail. No. No. Ah. Uh. Come on. Not good. Okay, I gotta wait. Can he come out? Good fight, sir. Good job. Seriously, like, good job. Dang. Thought you had me there for a second. But, thankfully, you did not. I would have been very upset had I died at this stage of the game. Okay. Oh, what is that? That was a spider. Okay. I'm going to quickly gather the remainder of this iron right here. I'm going to cook it up, kind of drop in that. Not the smartest move at this point. Come on. For me, but good fight, definitely. Okay. Let's in craft these two. Come on. Oh, fail. Drop that. One, two. Throw that in there. Wait, what was that? Okay. No one nearby. At least I don't think. I do hear the sounds of a spawner or something in there. Just gotta stay careful, stay cautious. Don't get killed. Okay, nothing. Here we go. Let's grab some of this. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Just grab a little bit of the soup that was over here. Wait, is that iron? Yay! Iron! Okay. Um, some of the recent things added to the update or changed about the update. 
where uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a giant wall around the map. That's one of the new things that was recently added, and it's essentially to give the games a more enclosed feeling to kind of make it feel like, you know, it's pressing in a little bit more, and it's to give it that sort of, um, that sort of, you know, like, oh my goodness, there's like this big, like, wall around it. Just, it's, it's to give it that more arena type feel to it and i i think it definitely gets that across really well and the question is do you guys like the wall do you not like the wall let me know what you guys think about it i like hearing your guys opinions on the different updates um because you guys have very strong opinions either way on each topic i personally i think the wall looks cool i don't know how i feel about how it changes up like some of the you know, features about the games that have been, you know, there for a really long time, like the force field, because you really can't do a lot of force field traps anymore now, can you? That, to me, is the only thing that maybe I don't like as much. But other than that, I think it's actually pretty cool. I think it's a nice feature or thing about it. You know, it gives it a different feel, pretty much a completely different feel. How am I going to get up? to some of this iron. Do I even want to get up to some of this iron? I definitely want to get up to some of this iron. Okay, tower up. I feel like this is gonna get me killed, but wish me luck. Come on, get over there. Bam. Get here, get to that. Right there, just a little bit. Just a little bit of iron. Whoa, careful. Okay, there's a little bit more, right? over there don't get shot off by a skeleton that's the last thing i want get shot off by a skeleton oh thought i found more iron for a second okay carefully sneak my way over here hopefully no one will sneak up to me either because that would also kind of stink oh snap that is not good go up come on right here and almost there whoa careful super careful almost there just gotta get a chest plate and i will feel nice and safe five experience or five you know look at that five that to me is pretty awesome i'm excited you know five is definitely going to be very helpful when the uh we get down to the end there okay oh and we cannonball Okay, I thought I saw iron down here when I came down, but maybe I'm mistaken. Let's go in here. Okay, ninja it. Throw some more in. Okay, I'm going to let that cook really quick. Then I'm going to heal up or grab some of it. Okay, come on. I know some people are probably like raging. They're like, bad boy, why are you wasting your iron? Like your, uh, or your food or soup or something. Because people really don't like me doing that. And I apologize again. I feel like I apologize every game for it. But I'm sorry. Okay. And. Oh my goodness. Then that. Now the only thing I'm worried about running into right now is a stomper. That would be the only thing that would kind of ruin my our little adventures. But speaking of uh, things ruining adventures, I've been wanting to do this series. I may have mentioned it. I might mention it in a final two later on, but because I, I recorded this very nice, interesting final two. But let me know what you guys would think if I did a series where I find a hacker in game. And I do like a hacker spotlight, but I'd only do it on people that I was 100% sure were absolutely hacking. And I would just call them out on it. Maybe ask them to do funny things. I don't know. Maybe have them like put them in. Someone suggested put them in a box with leaves. And put them in adventure mode. But just little things like that. Just on guaranteed 100% hackers. So we wouldn't do it on anyone who wasn't. We weren't sure was hacking 100%. Just so that we didn't you know embarrass anyone who wasn't a dirty rotten hacker publicly. But to me I would love to do a series like that. Just because... I'm sick and tired of hackers ruining all of my games. Being a game, everything's going great, then a hacker shows up, and I'm always like, grr, hackers. And then they make me mad, and I get upset, because the game is kind of ruined, and it's their fault. But, um, and I'm not saying everybody who kills me is a hacker, but I do run into quite a few of them. 
and having banned a lot of hackers, I can kind of pick up on, like, I'll be in a fight and I'll just be like, something they do just throws me off. I'll be like, hmm, they are cheating. And it's, you can kind of tell it after a while. And I know a lot of you guys are really good at that, too. I'm going to go in here. What is that? Something is back here. But wait, should I go in there without torches? I'm going to go get me some torches first. Get some of this. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. Let's drop something. That. Go. Crouch down. Keep an eye up. Oh, fail. Don't get killed. Back up over here. Quickly. Pants. Bam. Bam. Oh my goodness. I feel so safe right now just like with the pants i feel like like that alone just makes me feel awesome you guys know how I, you guys know what i'm talking about like that feeling you get when you feel like you're totally safe and like you don't feel at risk at all that's the feeling i love and i'm getting it right now which is awesome you know because it's like hey you know i'm good no matter what happens i can deal with this ah <sighs> it's very relaxing okay Let's go this way. Please be a mob spawner. Oh my goodness. Is it a mob spawner? Yes, it is. I'm going to place a torch there. I'm going to break that torch. Come on. Don't want those guys to know where I'm at. Okay, sweet. Let's put a couple more. And let's get in here. Guys, we have found the golden zone for this kit. This is seriously, like, there will be nothing better than what we are finding in here. Like, not the, not the items in the chest, but the items, like, I'm gonna swap to this sword. Because seriously, like, this is it. We have reached the high level of this kit. Nothing will be better than if you find a place like this. Dang it. And the only downside is, let me swap this out to there. Nom, 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 nom eat up a bit but seriously like look i can kill a bunch of these guys and i'm gonna enchant my sword to such a high level it is going to blow everybody's mind this is gonna be great seriously i'm gonna kill them all because you find one of these babies or these places you are set the game is over like because you can just stand here i'm just gonna mob grind for a bit i'm going to mob grind the living daylights out of this place like, in fact, I'm going to throw, let me throw some enchantments just on my gear. Just because I can. Here, ready? Let's throw some enchantments on this. What should I throw? Let's do a two. Protection one. You know what? I've realized I'm not going to do anything higher than, like, the normal. I'm just going to do one level for each of my items. Just because it's kind of a waste to do more than one. Unless I'm going to go, like, above and beyond. You know what I mean? There we go. Prop one. Let's see. Let's throw something on my boots, too. Come on. Give me prot one, too. Bam. Prot. Oh, projectile protection. That'll be good, I guess. If I run into something that shoots arrows at me. So that's good. Now let's... Come on. Let's get... Uh, let's see if I can get a level 30 enchantment on... Or wait. Will I need a bookshelf for that? I might need an actual, like, bookshelf. Let's see. What's it giving me? Oh, dang it. I don't think I'm going to get anything higher than a 6. Dang it. Okay. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to put a 7 on it. Come on. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Smite and knockback? Seriously? That's all I get? Like, well, it'll kill spiders quicker. That's for sure. Okay. I'm going to do another iron sword. Just to, um, just to see what I can get out of it. Because at this stage of the game, you know, if I can get the extra edge on it, I'm going to try and get the extra edge. Come on. Give me more mobs. Give me more mobs. Yeah, come on. Send them over. Where are the mobs at? Where are them mobs at? Come on. I'm going to kill all the mobs I can. As long as you guys come down. Stop hanging up by the ceiling. So what they like to do is they like to hang up there. They'll hang out up there. So I'm going to stand right in here with them. Come on, just don't want to put myself at too much risk. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come out. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Is that a spider or a cave spider, by the way? Oh, it's a spider. I was like, kind of weirded out. I was like, what is that? Okay, probably not going to need that. It's not really going to come in handy. Come on. Come out. Send me more. Oh, dang it. Feast will begin in 45 seconds. Well, I'm kind of committed now. I can't really go to the feast yet. I Oh, dang it. Do I break it? Yeah, I got to break it. Dang it. Oh, nice. Seven levels. That's actually really good. Okay, we got to go. Oh, no. This is totally bad. Totally bad. I'm at a disadvantage here. If I do not get out of here. Come on. One. Swap that there. Come on. Throw that out. Drop that. What? Come on. Give me something good. Seven. Fire aspect. Wait. That lights people on fire, right? I think it does. Okay. I think we're good. Fire aspect should do really nice. Catch people on fire. Burn them a bit. Go for those hits. Don't need to worry about flint and steel. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And up, up, up. Let's do this. Wish me luck. Okay. Drop that. Drop that. Pick that up. And onward. Okay. I'm a little worried now. Because I've got to get over here to wherever these guys are. Oh, there's Cookie Dough. Oh, he's kind of ignoring me. Where's the feast at? What are the chords again? Four, negative 62. Wait a minute. Okay, four, negative 62. It's this way. Oh, snap. Don't tell me he's going there. I don't want to fight him yet. I'm going to go to the feast first. Four, negative 62. Come on. He's got to make it before he does. Where is he going? 